Hi, hello, welcome. It's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you for tuning into my channel today here on YouTube or watching me on my blog. Um, today I'm looking at and I'm sharing with you the fabulous coordination product release papers. Um, this is a new set of papers. It comes out, it came out on the 4th of February, uh, which is today. Uh, is it today? Yes. Uh, and the paper pack is called Pleased as Punch. Okay, so that's the one we're looking at right now. And it has three sheets each of all these four designs. Okay, so you get one sheet that is full of umbrellas. And these coordinate with the um, umbrella punch and the umbrella stamp set, which I had here a second ago. Where's it gone? Um, under my umbrella stamp set. There we go. Then the second design in this set is with the tulips. So this um, coordinates with timeless tulips and the tulip builder punch. This coordinates, this one coordinates with the new flower punch that's a free celebration item in the um, celebration catalogue for 2020. And it's um, it also has a stamp set that it matches with as well. Um, through the blossoms or something like that. I can't quite remember, um, forgive me, but it's the new flower punch that, that punches these little, the big flowers out from here. And then there is the heart page, which I think might just be my favorite actually, because I just love this whole rainbow effect. And this is, um, this coordinates with the plain heart out of the, um, double heart punch pack double heart punch pack but of course you can use them without the punches you could just use them as backgrounds or as you know individual banners on a card etc but today we're going to be playing with these uh, the umbrellas and I'm going to be merging two cards that I made together sort of ish <laughs> kind of you'll see it'll all make sense so these are the two cards that I made previously so this one uses beautiful you and the big umbrella um, and says hello sunshine and it's sort of a it's a sunny card she's on her way out to the beach with her big parasol on or wandering through you know watching watching the golf maybe with a big golf floral umbrella something like that so that's that one and then this one I wanted to do ever since I saw these little welly boots they're so cute with a little floral um flowers coming out of the tops and at the bottom and then this part up here and then inside I've just put a couple of flowers on that and this is um, from the under my umbrella so I sort of wanted to join the two together with the coordinating papers so I've decided that we're going to uh, stamp first of all on a piece of whisper white cardstock this is all the measurements, I don't know, I can't remember what the measurements are. They're all up in the, they're all just on the screen at the moment. Um, I don't know why I didn't write that down. Did I write that down? Oh, I did. Here we go. So it's seven by six and a half. Oh, clever me. So <laughs> seven on this side, six and a half on that side. Okay. Oh, I impressed myself then. Um, I'm just stamping the, um, the smaller umbrella out of the out of the two so if you look in the under my umbrella stamp set you'll see you've got the big umbrella and the small umbrella plus the welly boots and the little handle uh, raindrops and then all these flowers and loads and loads of um, sentiments so I like this one rain or shine you're always on my mind that's nice isn't it uh, no matter the weather we're friends forever life's showers brings bring, life's showers bring love's flowers showered with love it's your day hello sunshine nice okay so that's the stamp set so i'm but i'm going to use this but i'm only stamping it in memento just so that i have some placement um just so i know where i'm going to be placing my flowers basically and then i'm going to stamp the handle in the same way and just pop that Ooh, I'm going to have to come in a little bit so I can see where I'm going. Pop that down just about there. Oh, not bad. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I think I did this one a little bit better. Here's one I did earlier. Actually, they're pretty much... They're not bad, are they? I'll use this one, though, because it's dry. Um, so that's the placement. And then what we do is we take the little flower images. And these fit perfectly, if you'll see 
into the, the gaps. This one fits on this side. See that? Into the gaps. And then this one fits on that side. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using Memento. And we're just going to put the flowers into the umbrella. So just check which one, this side. Check which side, come in, da, da, da. There we go. So we'll put those on there like that, lovely. And then this one is going in this side, like that. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly perfect, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And I'm going to allow those to dry while I organise the next bit. You don't need to leave Memento very long, but it's if you're going to blend with it, it's always handy to give it a minute or two. So I've cut out a piece of the paper with the umbrellas on, and I'm going to pop it in here and punch out this pink one here, because I like this pink blushing bride sort of colour. So you can see how it lines up. Now I am chopping off this, don't panic. I have plenty, so I'm not too bothered about that. But if you were if you were bothered about that, then you could obviously take that, you could cut that off so that you didn't lose your end of your umbrella. See what I mean? You could chop it off along the flowers and then punch that out separately, etc. But um, it's fine. Sometimes we worry a little bit too much about these things. And then, see, that is going to go and lay up over those. So you, so we didn't need to worry too much about exact placement. But now we're going to colour them in. And this doesn't take very long at all. Uh, we're going to use Purple Posy. This is the dark. This is the light. And we're going to use, uh, this is So Saffron, Dark So Saffron. All right, for the flowers. So let's crack in. Let's have a look, dark one. Let's do let's do the dark ones in the smaller ones actually. There we go. So just the little and I'm not really doing anything but just going round. You can start to add some colour and dark shade at the bottom. But they're quite small for doing a lot of shading work and you need to be careful that they don't splurge over the top then i'm using my dark so saffron for the other flowers in here and for this larger one and it's sort of a the dark so saffron comes out sort of just a little bit um between it's like a soft crushed curry i would say it's definitely not a daffodil delight it's much more like a soft crushed curry uh, then we're going to use mint macaron do you want to use the dark hmm. yeah probably just for the lines dark mint macaron for the lines there we go. That's it. and then a bit of light mint macaron and even though these are tiny images it you will see the graduation and the variation in the colour. It just it'll just add a smidge of 3D um, effect for the eyes. So you might not realise that it does, but it does. And it just helps to make your flowers, you know, really pop out of the umbrella. Then we will put this, I'm going to put it flat. You could obviously uh, raise it up if you wanted to. Actually, we could raise it up a little bit at the top. That might be a nice idea. So just a little bit of glue at the bottom. Down here. Okay, and then at the same time, before you actually stick it down, we'll just add a dimensional here and here. Like so. And then that gives you like a two... Uh, two layered approach so it, it starts off flat at the bottom and then goes raised at the top just make sure that you're in in the lines which means you can obviously just curve it a little bit if you want to there that looks good so that's our umbrella piece and then we're going to lift that 
um, place that on top of some purple posy and this is purple posy cardstock cut and I have written this down seven and a half by seven okay and I'm going to put this flat because we've lifted the um, we've lifted the brolly and we're going to lift put this purple posy whoops piece oh it's been a little bit too gentle there with that let's just other way around pip make sure it's straight okay a little bit more down a bit down a bit down a bit there we go that's nice isn't it it's a lovely bright color this purple posy oh, it's not quite straight pip. there we go that's better there we go nice okay and then what i've done here is i've just pre-cut some other elements out so we're using the best dress papers as i said and we're just going to layer this piece which is uh, full of purple posy flowers with um i think they're crushed I, I believe they're crushed curry that's why i wanted the crushed curry but to me they're a very sort of faded crushed curry or they're not they're not quite daffodil delight because they're softer than that i think uh, well that's how i see them anyway and then this is a mint macaron base which i've lost my little bone folder here we go just going to give that a burnish there we go and then we'll pop this down on there i like using whisper white cardstock to give you a matte layer Oh, I'm running out of glue. Oh well. Let's get the other one. There we go. Try this one. There we go. Okay. Because we don't often maybe think of using white as a layer, but it's a it's a colour in itself in its own right, as it were. So there's no reason why it can't be a layer. There we go slightly over this side pip i think but never mind we'll cope with that there we go and then we'll pop our umbrella on top yeah quite a long way over that way but never mind <laughs> it obviously didn't get that straight enough on that side never mind these things happen it's a handmade card and it just goes to show that i'm not perfect which you all knew anyway but you know there might be some new people watching and you know guys it's okay not to be perfect it's uh i think we get too too hung up on perfection but nobody's perfect and also if you had a perfect card you might as well have bought it in a shop right so we'll pop that there there we go I'll do. Oh, it's a I am I am feeling it's a little off, but never mind. We'll cope with it. And then, <laughs> and then what I might do is I might just bring that. Out. No, maybe bring that bit over that way, and then it doesn't look quite so bad. There we go. So then we're going to just put a sentiment on there, and the sentiment that we're going to be using is "showered with love." And I've decided that because we don't have the purple posy ink pad, I've decided we're going to use Highland Heather could have used mint macaron but then I wanted to put it on mint macaron card and then I thought that would be a bit too much a bit too much mint macaronish. now I can't see if I'm straight so I'm just sort of guessing oops oh yeah not bad it just fits and it's not yeah I think it's okay I was slightly worried that it was going to be a little off but I think it's okay and then what I'll, I'm going to do is just add some of the really tiny flowers in the corner sort of going around like that and around like that and then we can just color those just make sure that you wipe off your table surface so that you haven't got ink everywhere Oops and we will do those in the yellow obviously because it's too we'll do the we'll do large yellow and maybe some pale purple posy there we go 
otherwise it will be two purple right next to each other it's not so good all right so the light purple paisley this time just for these little ones here there we go looks cute huh and then probably just the light mint macaron just to give some highlights to the to the leaves and this is uh, cut with two dies from the stitched so stitched so sweetly uh, die set uh, it has these beautiful rectangular rectangular showered pieces in there so I'm going to go flat with this one because we've had a double raise on the other one so I'm going to go flat with this one okay like so and then make sure that's straight yes it is then I was going to lift this piece up and then somewhere I have a piece of where have I put my ribbon there it is piece of the new um, thin mint macaron trim and I was just uh, you could either you could do this umbrella and tie a, sort of tie a bow around the handle but I think that would take away from the flowers personally so I was going to do that and then tie a bow on the side here so just tie a very nice size bow you know not too small not too big it's got a bit twisted If it gets twisted, it's better to just stop and start again. There we go. And then pull out. I want it a reasonable sort of size. There we go. Chop the ends off. Quite long. A little bit more angled than that bit. And I'm going to attach that to the side there. So actually that's not going to then worry too much about that being the wrong so I want to do it sort of like that I don't want it going that far down though oh a little bit shorter pip still angled okay. there. yeah I wanted it to go sideways maybe it'd be better if it went that way ah there we go that's better pip just attach that there. I know it doesn't attach to anything, but sometimes you don't have to. It just looks fine. Just hang it up there as a corner element. I mean, you could put it up there, really, I suppose, couldn't you? That's the other alternative. Oh, see, now I've got decisions, because that's quite nice, too. There, or there. There, or there. There. Yeah, second place. <laughs> second place wins it. There we go. Pop a little glue dot down and that's that sorted. Goes over the edge, makes it look a little less like it's the wrong size, so that's good. And then I'm going with a few um, basic rhinestone pearls and we're going to pop a few of these all over the place because we like a pearl. Should we put one at the end there? No, I don't think so. So we'll just sort of scatter them. You could, you could do them like raindrops if they were the epoxy um, ones and the umbrella was up the other way. That would look nice too. Uh, dun, 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 dun. In or out? Out, I think. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. That's a nice uneven number. Yeah, that looks good. So there you go. What do you think? That's using the beautiful new coordination stamps but also the stamp set that it coordinates with this lovely under my umbrella stamp set and I think it's quite a nice sort of fusiony thing very similar to this one but obviously brings in those papers that match with this the, this is another one of these papers I think it just adds a little something and I like the fact it's a different color because it just brings the papers out of the card as it were so there you go, Under My Umbrella with Coordination product release. If you want to get the papers, they're available now to buy from my shop. All the details are here. Um, as I say, either 
in the description or I've put them up on screen so that you can see them. And I hope you've enjoyed watching me do slightly too much of white on this side of my card. <laughs> But, you know, hey, it works. I think it looks all right. So thanks ever so much for watching. And I will see you again soon here at queenpipcards.com or over on my YouTube channel. Just uh, subscribe if you want to get all my videos from now on. That would be great. Alrighty, thanks ever so much. You take care now. See you again soon. Bye.